Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1986's Transformers Generation 1, Galvatron. Now, Galvatron has a very long history in the Transformers universe, so I'm just going to give you the abridged version for this review because we're here mainly for the toy. Now, this toy hit the shelves just in time for his appearance in Transformers the Movie, where it's shown that he is the more powerful reformatted form of Megatron. Behold, Galvatron. At the end of the movie, after a fierce battle inside the bowels of Unicron, Galvatron is defeated by Rodimus Prime as he's thrown through space and lands right on the small screen to take over leadership of the Decepticons in Season 3 and 4 of the Transformers animated series. Well, all I can say is... Galvatron made his first appearance in Marvel Comics in issue number one of the Transformers the Movie Comics adaptation. He became a series regular in issue number 67 and lasted all the way until issue number 79 where he was defeated by Fortress Maximus, who was conveniently his size. In the comics, Fortress Maximus was the size of all the regular Transformers. So that's pretty much it for the U.S. history of Galvatron. Now, in the Japanese continuity and in the U.K., Galvatron was a major player and is in some of the best U.K. stories, especially Time Wars. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the mighty Galvatron. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> We'll start things off by taking a look at Galvatron's Space Cannon Alt Mode. And this mode is a little weird. This is a Space Cannon, without a doubt. <laughs> it's got a really weird clear orange translucent barrel with glitter finish, or as we here in West Virginia call it, the bass boat finish. So he's got that going on for him. He's got chrome right here around the barrel and lots of great sticker decals all over. Of course, mine are Toy Hacks reproductions. Now, the Space Cannon mode does have some wheels here underneath on the treads. We got wheels there and wheels right here. So it can move along. And really, that's about it. It can't aim up or down. It fires straight ahead. And a cool thing about this figure is this Galvatron is electronic. There's a button right here. You press this and you got some cool 80s sound. Let me turn off these lights here so you can see the lights that work. Maybe. Barely. Let me turn this light off too. There we go. So it's still not dark enough, but that light will light up that entire translucent barrel. 
Now there is three different options. There is a switch right here. Let me get these lights back on. So right there, there is a black switch. So we've got sound number one. Flip it to the middle. Little high pitch sound. And the last one. So pure 80s nostalgia right there. And that's pretty much it for Galvatron's Space Cannon. He does have a third mode where you're going to take the rear of the cannon, fold that down like so, take the treads and flip these over. And there is his, let me zoom out, handgun mode. And now his electronics are activated by this trigger right here. So you can squeeze that and open fire. But that... That is not a great mode for this figure. I think these are originally supposed to either point straight or be up like that, but mine are really loose, so that's what you're going to get with my figure here. So we'll go ahead and transform him back to cannon mode, and now move on to robot mode. Now the first thing we're going to do is take Galvatron's orange barrel and remove that, place that to the side, grab the rear of the cannon and pull back. These will create Galvatron's legs. Back here, we're gonna flip the toe sections out. And now, just simply open the legs up, like so, and then flip down the little hip skirts. Now you've got this purple section right here. You're gonna pull, pull up and over like so. Rotate this section around and slide this down. Now we'll go ahead and stand Galvatron up. Now you're going to take the arms, you have these treads here, you're going to pull these down and rotate around, fold back up against the arm, got these little tabs, you're going to pull out, that reveals the fist, do the same thing here with this arm, bring down, turn around, listen to those lovely ratchets, flip that out, there's Galvatron's other fist, get them all around here, make sure the legs are all the way up. You're going to take this back section, bring this up. Now you're going to take this extra piece right here. This is his cannon mount. This snaps right onto his arm. You see the little indentation right there? It matches up to that tab. Snap that on. And this is where you're going to fit the cannon barrel. So that just plugs in right there. And Galvatron also comes with a gun. I don't know why a guy who wields a massive cannon, who turns into a massive cannon, has to wield a gun, but G1 Megatron had one as well. You can put that in his hand. And there you have Generation 1 Galvatron, all armed and ready for battle. And first off, this is a, another Generation 1 brick. I mean, he doesn't really do much, though he does have some decent articulation. The arms can do a complete 360 if they didn't hit the hip skirt right here, and they tend to catch with the big treads, but the arms can also go out. So you can get that complete 360 if you wish. Now where mine are so loose, I do like the fact that it can get hung up on the tread, so I can at least get a little bit of posability. There's also some articulation here on the forearms. They can bend up and down, kind of a little elbow bend, if you will, though it is a little low for an elbow. Legs, nothing at the legs, but he does have a waist rotation due to transformation. So he's got a little bit of articulation. Now, the electronics also carry over into robot mode, and this time you're gonna press right here below his belt buckle, and the only thing that happens is you hear the sound and watch his eyes. Maybe, watch his eyes. Come on. Well, they're lighting up. Trust trust me on that. And that's pretty much it. He's got some nice chrome work there on his abs and down there on the knees. And as I said earlier, the sticker decals carry over very well. Also, nice red up here with the purple Decepticon logo. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation 1 Galvatron with Generation 1 Megatron. Generation 1 Rodimus Prime, 
And yeah, I really don't see Rodimus tossing this Galvatron around. And Titans Return Galvatron. Ultra the courageous Ultra Magnus is a born leader. We meet at last, Galvatron. And it will be the last time we meet. And Galvatron is Ultra Magnus' sworn enemy. Transformers! Galvatron transforms from laser cannon to fighting robot. 1986's Generation 1 Galvatron is just a brick of a G1 figure. But he's a very entertaining brick. He's got great articulation for a G1, not to mention he's got those great electronics. Plus, he's also an iconic character, and that makes this figure a must-have in your Generation 1 collection. So there you go, guys. Transformers 1986 Generation 1 Galvatron. So, does a 1986 Transformers Generation 1 Galvatron belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a must-have for any Transformers Generation 1 collector because even though he's not a perfect toy, he's an iconic toy of an iconic character. I remember the first time I got a Generation 1 Galvatron, I was so disappointed because he looked nothing like he did in the movie. But at least with Marvel Comics, they gave him the same colorization as the toy. So yeah, you see this guy, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. He's going to look great on your shelf. Just be wary that there is some accessories that he comes with. You want to make sure you get everything. The cannon mount, the orange barrel, and the gun. Also, make sure his electronics work. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I want to give a huge shout out to my newest member, Anthony Court. Anthony, thank you so much. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!